Washington, D.C., capital of a land that was founded in the struggle for religious freedom, now has its own mosque. It is opened by President Eisenhower. He and Mrs. Eisenhower are greeted by leaders of the Muslim Diplomatic Corps in Washington. In accordance with Islamic custom, visitors remove their shoes before entering the mosque. The president inspects the magnificent building, erected at a cost of one and a quarter million dollars by the cooperative efforts of 15 Muslim countries. Handsomely finished and decorated, the mosque is one of the most beautiful places of worship in Washington. And as the United States is the most cosmopolitan country on earth, it is likely to be fully attended. In the mouth of the River Schlei on the German-Danish frontier, the two biggest salvage ships in the world, Energy and Ausdauer, have a tough job on hand. They're lifting U-boat 2540 from a depth of more than 15 fathoms, where she has lain since her crew scuttled her at the end of the war. Nearly 250 feet long, this snorkel-fitted craft was one of the most up-to-date submarines in Hitler's Navy. Twelve years underwater hasn't done her a great deal of good. Like Hitler's dreams of world conquest, she finishes up as scrap. <laughs> 